Somebody in the comments yesterday said I'm 12 for, for my intro and outro. Like, bruh, let me have some fun, okay? If you stop behaving like a child, then you die real quick. So, just keep that in mind. Strangely pretty today, look at this. A little bit of mist. Visibility not too far. I wanna go out today, somewhere nice. My issue is that I wake up too late to go visit anywhere that has like a closing time. There's one spot I really wanna take you guys. Shut to 5.30. Could go there. Just need to make sure that dogs are allowed and then we can do it. Yeah, real nice. This week's been really lovely. Uh, next, next week it goes back to rain. Which is good for me because I need to get some work done. I've been, um, yeah, running on like 10% efficiency while the sun's been out, but it kind of caught me by surprise. I wasn't really expecting any good heat. Anyway, I'm eating breakfast. I now have a cameraman. Yay! Come on, <laughs> Come on. Wow. Camera dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving so slowly, but it looks funny. <laughs> okay, that was the test. That was the first test. See how that looks. Location that we're at today is the place that I did the first vlog, day number one. The, today's day 69. I'm very tempted just to end it here, <laughs> just for the memes. <laughs> no, I think what I'll do is I'll power through, get to day 100. Another month I can do that. Unless some sort of camping trip presents itself. Nah, I don't think anybody's like free until summertime. My friends are busy working. Until I'm living on a commune and people don't need to go to work, they just live. I think I'll have to keep waiting until summer to like really see people properly. Obviously I can go visit people, but they have to go back to work the next day. Like, just... I need a group of people that are past that, that have become either self employed or they spend very little. I need those kind of friends. I think the trouble is when you're looking for friends like that you mostly attract unemployed people and people that don't have very much. 
Granted, they know how to live with very little, but that's not the kind of friends I'm looking for. I'm looking for people that like to work hard, but don't spend all their time working. I mean, I haven't even reached that level yet. I work all the time. I don't really get to play very much. Obviously, I'm walking the dog right now. It doesn't seem like work. But if I didn't have a dog, I wouldn't need to walk it. I'd probably spend an hour a day outside for myself, and that's it. The rest of the time could be spent building up my fractals business. Um, that's what I'm doing today, actually, when I get back home. I mean, I know I say this all the time, but I don't think you guys realize how difficult the researching process is. I'm trying to find the, the perfect thing. I mean, not even. I'm definitely willing to compromise, but I just haven't really found anything close to what I want. Also, the property that I wanted to get in Hastings, uh, they said there's too many people want it, so that one's out of the out of the question. I think I don't have much hope moving right now. I think the best thing to do is double down on my my work, get the first tie dye batch out right before summer, so you guys can start looking cool and then worry about moving. My only fear is that I'll leave it too late and by the time I'm ready to move, it's summer and I'm going traveling anyway. Like I don't wanna be here that long. It's only March right now, so I've got April, May, June, three more months before travels. But I wanted to move before then. So I don't wanna to have to come back up to Wales. I wanna just go straight to wherever I'm gonna live. Alright, I'm gonna hand over the camera to Mr. Jazz and he will be the perspective today and I'll just follow him around. <laughs> I'm very excited to edit this one just to see how silly it looks. Alright Jess, let me do this then. Tell me. <laughs> just the idea of it is making me giggle.
not sure if the GoPro really does it justice, but it's it's a very tall forest. It's very nice. Ooh, I actually just saw a spot of sun in the moss over there. Ah, sun and moss. I have to get naked. It's the rules. Them's the rules. <laughs> We're getting so close to our destination and I've taken us off trail again. Why do I always do this? Look, when there's moss and sun, you have to. You just have to get nude. That's the rules. Dems the rules. I don't make the rules. Okay, the camera's really not doing it justice. I'm going to switch to my other camera. <laughs> All right, I just snapped some beautiful OnlyFans pics. What I'll do is I'll show you a picture that I'm not in, but you'll see the framing and how beautiful it was. <laughs> While I was there, <laughs> I, I filmed the dumbest TikTok. <laughs> I haven't posted on TikTok in months, so I thought I thought it'd be funny to film something. It's only 15 seconds long, you should go watch it. It's on my TikTok. TikTok's just at the third eye, obviously. Um, oh yeah, you guys might not have noticed, but I changed the channel name finally. We had a little vote on Discord to finalize it, and there we go. V third eye. A lot easier for people to write down and search for. And if you search for that, you'll get both my channels. So, perfect. It's so nice to see other humans wearing shorts. I've been wearing shorts all month. And I was just kind of betting on the fact that the sun would come back. Yes, it's back. Now I can wear shorts forever. <laughs> so misty you can't like see anything looks kind of cool though I'm excited just to take some photos up here me one day I need to rest me the next day <laughs> why am I like this We did it!
this on. These are basically the most perfect conditions you can have for Snowdonia. Nice blue skies, nice heat, just chilling. I've already seen two people up here, which is surprising, it's a Saturday. I don't know what everyone's doing. Why don't people get out in nature anymore? I'm sure everyone's very busy. Living in this area, I don't know anything that's better than this. Maybe swimming? But why would you not go up on a mountain on a sunny day? I just don't understand. Jasper footage yet, but I guess let me know if you want more of that, <laughs> if it looked funny. I imagine it's just very shaky and loud, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> I've never stuck a GoPro on a dog before. He, he goes very slowly with it, so you'd think it'd be stable footage, but it's not quite. And the harness doesn't quite fit him perfectly, so he's probably not very comfortable. But let me know, if, if it looks funny, I'll do it again. I'm really excited tonight, I'm doing a, a long Minecraft stream. I try to do it every Saturday night, it's like a long one, so people can just come whenever and hang out. It's cool, you guys are you guys are awesome, you've been tuning in pretty regularly now, like I'm actually building a bit of an audience on there. I knew Twitch would be hard because obviously I'm not a live streamer, I'm not, I'm not that good at it. I haven't really tried to build a live, stream or, a live streaming audience for years. Right at the beginning, in 2012, that's when I first started doing live streams and I was making some good money, money off of it back then. That was before I even made any money off YouTube. So I used to live stream. Then I focused on YouTube for a long time and traveling. And live streaming while traveling is kind of hard. But yeah, it's just nice to be back in it. Cause it's something that I can just sit down and just talk to people. There's like a good 20 people there at any time. And like, I can just hang out and talk to you guys. It's nice. Getting to know you guys as well, as well as you getting to know me. It's like the only chance Twitch is like the only chance I get to hear you guys. Are you guys are live in the chat? And on Discord, you can talk to me with your voices. It's cool. So if you haven't actually tuned into any of the Twitches, you can talk to me live. If you join the Discord, you can just jump in our call and talk to us. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna hop on as soon as I get back, collaborate a bit, create some art, some digital art that one, one day we'll get to explore in VR. That's kind of like the next stage for me and, and live streaming is I want to switch to VR and hang out in this virtual space with you guys. But I'm not quite there yet. Right now I'm just building the space. And just like that, we must leave the forest. Well, that was nice. Thanks for joining us on that little stroll. So a little update, I was streaming some Minecraft and the most beautiful thing happened. In my peripheral I could see what looked like an airplane with headlights coming right towards me. So I pay attention to it and it's it's a meteor. A meteor just flew past really slowly, well relatively slowly, time kind of slowed down in that moment. And this is a huge beautiful bright trail coming off the back of it. I'm pretty sure it was burning white but I don't know, my brain might be deceiving me. I just flew right past past my window. So where I'm sitting, like I can see this the night sky right here. If I turn the lights off, I can see it better, obviously. But I was just streaming. The light comes from here, it's like phew, and disappears around here. So it obviously burnt up completely in the atmosphere, but wow, that was so cool to watch. I haven't seen a meter in a long time. And to see it from my desk, while I'm working, it's very cool. It's kind of made my made my day. I like that. Shortly after that happened, the clocks went forward. So now it's 4 a.m. 
but it's 3 a.m. I don't know. I'm not tired. I just ate. Uh, what was it? I've been watching Adventure Time. Completed all that. Beautiful show. I recommend it. Now, Vikings is out. So I'm watching a bit of that. Well, it was while I was eating. And wow, it's continuing on from where the old Viking show left off. But it's like a few years ahead and it's it's so good. It's almost better than the last show, the last Viking. So yeah, on Netflix, Viking, Vikings Valhalla, I recommend highly. I'm only on episode three, but wow, it's it's intense. And I just love history, history so, so radical. People were wild. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> uh.